Hello there boys and girls, it's Les here over at Featherson Hydroponics. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. It's absolutely freezing outside. It's blowing a gale and it's raining as well. It was snowing this morning. It's horrible today. Well, this is video 7 of our setup for the 1.2 metre tent. We've set the tent up, we've got us train, we've set up the Wilmer system, we've looked at the, the lighting and we've looked at the ventilation. Uh, well, I've described the different composts and, and potting materials that we're going to be using. We're going to be using rock wool cubes. Uh, but then this video, we're going to be looking at this array of plant food nutrients. Now, these are all just your basic nutrients, what you're going to be starting off with. And remembering that this is our basic setup, so I'm, I'm trying to keep it as simple as, as possible. But I need to explain this, because if you're going to come into the shop, obviously we can tell you which is which when you come in. But if you're, if you're looking at something, and you're going to need to know which is which. Because it can be a bit confusing with this, all this A's and B's and all the rest of it. Veggies and flowers, and sometimes it's in Italian, and you know, all this kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. <coughs> so we'll start off at this end. Now, in this case, we've got terra, which actually means soil. So, so it, this is for soil-based material. Now, when I say soil... And I'm meaning soil, I'm thinking loam, which is like you get in your garden. That's soil, right? But these people, the, the industry, if you like, don't really call that soil. What they call soil is, is a mixture of things. Uh, it could actually have no loam in it at all. A little bit like this bat mix. It's not got any loam in it. It's peat and all this kind of thing. It's not what I would call soil. It's what I would call compost, right? So... It's a little bit confusing just in the terminology alone, but that's what this is. Whenever it says terra, it means soil. So this system, as we've said before with the soil, with the pat mix and stuff, this system is designed so that you water your plants and whatever runs out into your tray, it'll sit there for let's say five, ten minutes or so, and whatever's not been sucked up, you chuck it away or you water your garden plants or whatever. You, you, know, you don't have to waste it. You can use it on your outside plants. But that's the system. It goes through and you chuck it and you make fresh every time. Uh, this, that's what this is designed for. This one, which is from Dutch Pro, again, is, is the same kind of thing. Uh, it's a soil-based one, so it's, it wouldn't work in our system because there's, there's things in this, um, elements which, I can explain it. You can put things in this system, a soil-based system, which will dissolve roots, you can put enzymes and stuff like that in it which will make bacteria grow and all that kind of stuff in the soil which is fabulous because it conditions the soil, the compost but you don't want that happening in your aqua system you don't want to introduce that so make sure you get the right one for the right potting material that you're using you'll also note that these are in A's and B's this one is a, is a single one so you don't need an A and a B for this this is you just you mix that as per the instructions there's a measuring thing on it and that's the same with this so this is the one that you use during the growth cycle when the plant is in, in growth and when you set it off flowering that's when you use the floral one right <clears throat> same with this now this is a bit more complicated because this is an a and a b and there's instructions on the back and it's usually 50 percent one or 50 percent of tubber added to your water now there's an important thing about this A and B lark that you see down here. A very, very important safety. Never, ever, ever mix A and B together on their own while they're neat. Because you're going to get chemical reactions going off. It can be very dangerous and you shouldn't do it. Always put part A into the water first, give it a good stir, and then put part B into the water and stir. Right, so that's a very important point. So that's the uh, A, that's for when it's in growth again, while it's got leaves, while you're growing leaves, making a bigger plant. And this is when it's starting to flower and you're wanting to produce fruits on it, right? So that's the soil one. And then we move up to cocoa. Bear in mind that soil is already usually got some fertilizer built into the material itself, right? Whereas cocoa has usually got nothing. Like the cocoa behind is premium cocoa, that's all that's in it, no nutrients whatsoever. So this time you want to use cocoa food, which is different to soil, right? Important difference. And again, we've got A and B, same principle, you mix them in the water tank, A first, then a B. And again, this cocoa system is another one of these that's water to waste. 
So you let it come through your plant, you let it sit for five, ten minutes, anything left, bin it. Right, so that's the same as that. And then we move on to this brand. Now this one you can use for hydro and the cocoa. Alright, so this, uh, this is a multi-purpose version if you like. So this one is, one, if you haven't yet decided or perhaps you're going to be growing something different this year or you've got different materials on go, you know, as experiments and stuff, this is probably a good one because this does cocoa and hydro. Uh, we're not going to use this one in our system yet. Again, you've got grow phase and flowering phase because they use different nutrients. And then we get down to this end and here we've got the aqua. Now, whatever it says aqua, what it means is that you're, you're not use, uh, using any biological material as a potting medium, i.e. not compost of any description, uh, not peat, uh, not, not coir, not anything, right? Only pebbles or uh, rock molecules, because these are both inert materials and there is no biological material in there. So that's when you want to use these, that's the water system. Or if in fact you are just using sort of a deep water where there is no soil and you've just got your roots hanging in water and it's bubbling away underneath, you would use the aqua version. That's what that's for. And that is what we're going to be using in our system. We're going to be using this uh, canna, aqua, vegger and aqua flora. Same thing again, got them mixed up. We've got A and B. Right, this is for the growth phase and then we're, once we've started flowering, we've got the flowering section. Now the only thing, this is your basic setup of your nutrients, right? I'm not even going to get into the, uh, the additives yet, extra little bits and pieces like root stimulants and enzymes and all this kind of stuff. That is a different video. We, we, can, we can deal with that once we've got this all set up, then we can do a video on the little extras that you can get. The only thing I would say that you're going to need to start this process of, of thinking about mixing your liquids, your waters, is you're going to need a pH meter and you're also going to need, or possibly going to need, always good to have it in, pH up and pH down. Now one makes your water go up in pH and the other one makes it go down in pH and this is incredibly strong stuff so always keep the safety caps on. Right, <clears throat> and what you've got to do because ideally, right, in an ideal world, your water should be around about pH 5.8, up to 6.1, in between them two. That's ideal. And that is so that the plant can actually see, it can see the nutrients that you've given to it. If the pH is too high or too low, it's locked out and it can't actually see and access the nutrients. So it's vital that you get the pH level right. Now, I know for a fact, because I tested it earlier, that the water here in the shop is 7.1 which is pretty high I've got to knock that down so I'm going to need probably pH down right? and you only use like one drop in 10 litres or something that's just really really potent so don't be don't be going like this and expect it because it's going to be wrong and once you've done over you can't use the other one to pull it back you can't be mixing them both like that because they're going to be fighting each other so do it very very slowly so, so what you've got to do which is what we're going to be doing in the next video, is, is you have to fill up your tank, right? And you, you walk, whether, it's, whether you're going to be watering it by jug or whether it's in a recycling system, what you've got to do is get your water ready. We're going to be using 70 litres of water in that. That's what it uses, 70 litres. And then we're going to test the pH after we've added our nutrients. There's no point testing it and adjusting it and then adding nutrients because you're going to adjust the pH again. So get all your bits and pieces, all your liquids, into the, into the water, get a good stir, make sure it's all well thoroughly mixed, and then start adjusting your pH to get it down to, ideally, like I said, 5.8. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't think there's anything too complicated there. I know it sounds complicated, and you go into a shop and there's all these different bottles. I mean, it's same, you, go, you see all these, and you're lost. If you don't know, you're lost. So that's a basic guide on these different ones. You've got soil based ones, you've got cocoa based ones, and you've got water based ones. Different things for different purposes. I'll just look at this. Oh. This week down at the coffee shop here, which is a coffee shop in the juice store, don't forget, we've got Ethiopian Duramina Limu beans. Oh, 
absolutely stonking. Better than that weather anyway. We'll be, uh, we sell all of this stuff by the way, it's all available in the shop. All good price, you know, we, we don't try to rip anybody off here. It's as low as we can possibly make it. I've got some lovely ones of these coming as well. I've ordered these from China, right, but they are nice ones like I've, because I've been, I've been using China for a long time to su supply uh, bits and pieces for a shop and that. Uh, so anyway, I've got a nice uh, scientific instrument contact over there and, th and he's done me one of some of these that have got all four measurements on it. And in actual fact there's five. It'll do the pH, it'll do the EC, which is the electrical conductivity test. It'll tell you that, that's how much minerals in it. It'll do the, um, the temperature is on it, the pH is on it. The, uh, there's another one as well. TDS, it's got a TDS meter, total dissolved solids, that tells you how clean your water is to start with. It's, it's a fabulous thing. Anyway, they'll be available in the shop, good price. Be about six weeks before they come up. Uh, that's about it for this video. I can't think of anything else to tell you. I've, I've covered the basics. Like I said, we have decided now that this is going to be ours. Uh, we're going to set this up in the next video. And I will pop the pot, all we do is we'll pop the plants. We'll put the tray into the uh, system. Actually, we're going to have to turn, check the lights in that first. So we're going to turn all the lights and fans and things on first to make sure it's well working. Then we'll put the tray in, fill it up with the water, put our nutrients in it, all right, and then we're gonna to have to leave it for 12 hours because you don't wanna start watering your plants with cold water, because it's shocking them. So we're gonna leave it for 12 hours to acclimatize if you like, and then we'll be able to turn it all along. That's gonna be grand, isn't it? So anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Don't forget we are open seven days a week down at, and we've got a new website now. I've just got it up and running. Uh, it's really, at the minute, all you can do is, you can go on it, you can order your stuff for collection at the shop. Uh, I haven't got a credit cards on there yet, but obviously you can pay with your card down here at the shop. Uh, but I ain't got it online yet. But the website is now up, it's fevhydro.co.uk, so have a look at that. Uh, pretty much everything's on there, I think. And I'll join me in the next video, well I will, because I'm obviously I'm here, aren't I? But you'll join me in the next video, uh, when I'll be looking at potting everything up and getting that tent set up. In the meantime, you take care and I'll catch you later.